Okay, now that your bow's assembled, I'm going to show you how to set it up for shooting. Now your bow should be in the assembled position. If you haven't watched the last video on how to take the items from the Rent-A-Bow package and assemble the bow, go back and watch it now. Watch the assembled position. Both limbs on the riser and the string on. We have our, remember we have our big loop over the top limb of the bow and our small loop in the position on the bottom limb. That's our position, that's, that's the assembled position. Now, the next thing we're going to need from here is the stringer that came in the package. Now the stringer, I called it, it's called a stringer because it strings the bow. The stringer, again these come in a few different forms in our packages, but overall they're going to have a pocket end and they're going to have a rubber end with a flat edge. Let me show you how to put this on. I have my bow, I have my bow in the assembled position. I make sure this small loop on the bottom end of the bow is sitting on correctly. And then I'm going to loop, I'm going to loop this pocket over the edge, place it on. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up, I'm going to pick up the other end. I've got my, got my flat edge, it's going to go over the top end of the riser where the big loop is and I'm going to go over, going to go over, over the string because this string needs to be pulled through. I'm just going to slide that up as close as I can to that top loop without going on the other side of it. So the loop is on the outer edge of the rubber bit. Now from this, now I, you want to want, if you're wearing boots, you want to check there's no sharp rocks sitting in the, in the creases of your boots. I'm going to stand on this string. I'm going to take a wide stance. I'm going to use my dominant arm or my strong arm to grab the, to grab the handle of the riser. And then all I'm going to do is slowly lift up as if I was doing a deadlift which means I'm going to use my hips and drive through from my hips and my legs. And as I do that, the tension of the bow drops the string, allowing me to put that big loop over the edge of the top limb. And before I release tension, I want to make sure it's sitting in the crease. And then I lower. And that's it. And that is how you string a bow. Now the next thing I need to say, double check the creases. Now the next thing I need to say is do not draw the bow back and fire it without an arrow in the bow. It is the most tempting thing to do and the first thing people think of when the bow gets to this position, do not do that. It's called dry fire in a bow and there's a very high chance you'll damage the limbs. What happens is you draw back and as you release with no arrow in it, the energy is forced to travel through the limbs, the riser and the riser. Um, this can split, damage and over time really impact the wear and tear of the limbs. And if it breaks, you just have to pay for it. Okay, so let's say you finish with the bow. It's okay to leave the bow strung. This is in the strung position. It's okay to leave the bow strung. So, sort of for a few days, four, day, four to six days, fine, without use. Um, if you're using the bow every day, fine, just leave it strung. But if you know you're going to be taking a few days off, all you do is the reverse order, you de-string the bow, putting it back to the assembly position. It just saves the wear and tear of the string over time and takes the tension off of the limbs over time. Now just a few, just a few general maintenance things to look after and care for your bow. The main thing is don't dry fire the bow. Don't draw the string back and fire it without an arrow sitting in it. Other than that, Wax is good for the string. If you receive wax in your pack, you can wax the string once a fortnight, once a week, depending on how much you're shooting. Other than that, there's not a lot of maintenance to be had on the bow. Now we're ready to shoot. Let's move on to the next video and I'll show you how to properly draw back and fire your bow.